Hi, welcome to the channel. Hope everything is well with you. So I'm here today to talk about a lens, a lens that I have for um, around five years. And that lens is this one, the Sony PZ-E 18-105 F4 G OSS. What a big name. <laughs> so I have, as I said, I have this lens for about five years or probably more. I bought this lens when I bought this body, the Sony A6500, because I needed a lens with a wide range because I want to travel and I want to go out with just one camera and one lens. And I, I found this lens was everything that I need for that because it goes from 18 millimeters to 105 in full frame is from 27 to 157 and a half and another reason why i choose this lens because it was the f4 constant through all the range because i found other lens that goes from f3.5 but in 18 but in telephoto they go to 5.6 or more so i decided to go with this lens another feature that uh, is very good in this lens is fixed so it's internal zoom if you zoom in and zoom out the lens doesn't change its length and that's another feature that i was looking for so what what is my opinion about this lens for video especially for video because i think this lens was made for especially for video because of its features so first of all uh, i think it's a good lens for video it's not, of course it's not a professional lens nothing like that but uh, if you are a beginner uh, this lens is more than enough first of all it has a power zoom that's the PZ so it's a power zoom lens so you have a, a button in the side in here that you can use with your thumb you can zoom in and zoom out and you can adjust in the camera the speed of the zoom and can go very slowly you can a smooth zoom you can achieve it so you can zoom with this selector here or you can zoom with the, the zoom ring in manual focus you have another ring in the front for um, focusing and another great feature for video is no focus breathing so you can adjust the focus and you don't see uh, the breathing of when you are focused so that's another plus and more it has a good bokeh of course it's f4 if you if you try to focus on something near the camera the background is blurred and the autofocus works great i'm gonna show you some footage now and you can see the as the, the background blur and the focus, the autofocus working perfectly. As you could see, this works perfectly. This was shoot with my FX30 and this uh, lens and I think this lens for video is a great lens uh, of course this is not the sharpest lens that you can have in the center is very sharp but in the corners is a little, a little bit softer but I think the results are very good especially for video for video I I don't see any problem with that uh, with, with being softness in the corners and especially with the motion blur and everything. So I don't care a lot about that. So let's talk a little bit of the specifications of the camera. So it's a 110 millimeters long with 87 millimeters in diameter. It weighs 427 grams. So it's not very heavy. The build quality is good. It's not the best of course, but it's a very good uh, build quality. The lens is metal of course the rings and the sun hood and the back are plastic but the build quality is very good so I have it for around probably five or more years and the lens is 
working perfectly. So this lens has been with me every time I went out uh, and every time I go out, uh, I take this lens uh, with this camera and now with my FX30 and it's, and it's been working perfectly, no problems at all. The front uh, thread, the filter thread is 72 millimeters, so it's a, a big uh, filter thread. If you want to use uh, any filters, you have to buy it 72 or bigger course and I think this lens for a beginner uh, photographer or filmmaker is a great lens because it, it's not expensive it, at this moment it costs 415 dollars on Amazon so I think if this is a great option if you are starting or if you want to go on vacation and just take one lens with you with your camera with you with your APS-C camera, don't forget this is an APS-C lens, not a full-frame lens. And the quality is good. One thing doesn't have a weather sealer or gasket in the back. It's a, a negative, I think they should put an O-ring or something in here so to protect the dust or the moisture from getting into your camera, avoiding that. But it has a metal mount. Overall, this lens is very good, uh, especially for the price. Of course, if it was a little bit more expensive, I wouldn't say that. But for the price, I think it's a good lens. So I hope this information was helpful. And if yes, don't forget, hit that like button, that helps a lot. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And hit the notification bell to be notified next time I launch a video. Until then, bye! Thank you.